Hello, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. This is a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pull with the silver exterior. So starting right up here up front, we've got our manual crank jack, two and five sixteenths inch hitch, our safety chains, battery breakaway cable, and then right now I've got it plugged into our battery pack so you can see how the lights operate on this. So in order to operate lights, you'll either have to be plugged in to a tow vehicle or we can get you a battery on here so you're able to operate them without the truck or the tow vehicle. So coming over here, we've got our tack room on this side. So we've got a 42 inch wide door, swing out saddle rack, and then you've got your three tiers of saddle racks and these are adjustable and removable so we could add additional if you wanted to if you got to you know space them out a little bit more we could do so too and then we've got our two blanket pulls up above that are also adjustable removable can add additional so this swings back in it's on a gas shock so it swings back in and sits in this stationary position there on this tack door we've got a Window up above so you can get some airflow going through here if you got some sweaty, musty smelling horse blankets. And then we have our brush box down below. So in that brush box, I personally always keep my uh, stuff I use pretty often. So my brushes, hook pick, fly spray, liniment, polar wraps, you know, stuff like that. However, I or whatever I'm needing that I need to have convenient, I'll put it in that brush box so I can grab it easily. So like I said earlier, 42 inch wide door, so it's a bigger door opening. And that way, if you do have that swing out saddle rack swung out, you have plenty of space to get in and out of this trailer. You got a step going up into the tack room. So that's gonna give you about, you know, about six inches lower to the ground, easier to climb up in there. And then it's also wider than just your side rail. So you're able to step up there and get into the tack room a lot easier. Walking into the tack room right away to the left, we've got a 25 gallon water tank. So bring water from home, always make sure, I always make sure I have water on board when I'm going somewhere, especially long distances, because you never know what's gonna happen and where and when you're gonna need to offer animals or yourself some water. On that partition wall right there, we've got our bridle hooks with the carpet down below. So that carpet's gonna help alleviate some of that swishing and swaying that the bridles will do while in transit and just keep your trailer in good condition and keep your bridles in good condition as well. And then over in the corner there, we've got our full size uh, spare tire. And then that's our breakaway cable over in the corner beside the spare tire. And then up above, we've got a bar so you can hang your dress clothes if you want to. You can hang polar wraps, whatever you need to hang up. You can get it off the floor and out of the way. So coming over here to the hip side of the trailer, we've got our three bus windows. So these open up part way. As long as you get them opened up from the inside, you're able to open and close these while in transit. If you have horses in the trailer, you can open and close them from the outside. So, you know, start on a colder morning, you wanna get just a little bit of ventilation or airflow. You can open it up part way. And then as the day progresses, it gets warmer out. You can hop out and open them up all the way if you want have an LED light up above, three ties, and then down below we got two 5,200 pound axles with your 16 inch aluminum wheel. And then those are gonna be nitrogen filled tires. So that's what that little green tab there is for. It's to indicate that those are nitrogen filled. They're just gonna run cooler. PSI is gonna stay steadier. And then it's nice because if you need, to, you need to put normal air in it, you can do so without hurting the tire. So Cimarron trailers are an all aluminum construction. They're gonna have your strongest upright posts on the market, strongest flooring on the market with the center every four inches. And then we also have their standard insulated half inch thick honeycomb fiberglass roof. That's got an R3 thermal value on it. And it's also dent and hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail. So on the rear here, we've got our 6040 door opening. So you'll be able to get your horses in and, there, in and out of there easily. If you've got your seasoned haulers, you could easily have this 40 door closed, load them in that 60 side. But if you've got younger horses too that need that more open space, you can get both doors opened up and be able to get them in there a little bit easier. This trailer currently does not have a ramp, but if that's something you or your horse needs, we can easily get one installed here in our shop. 
We've got a load light up above as we come into the stall area. And we've got two additional OptiBright LED lights in the stall area. So loading and unloading, tacking, untacking in the dark around this trailer. As long as you've got your uh, truck hooked up or you got a battery in here and you're able to get these lights on, you know, it just it comes in handy big time here. So full-size stud divider on this first stall. So this opens up, you know, the stud stall, it comes in handy big time, especially if you only have two horses, but you have a three horse with the stud stall, you can use this first slot as a storage slot or a storage stall if you wanted to. So you're able to access it from the escape door from the outside but then you've got the full length so nothing's able to roll back underneath these other horses feet or if you've got a stud that would help out having the stud stall here or if you got someone that doesn't know how to stand in a trailer yet and they're stepping on their friends next to them you're able to you know get them out of the way and hopefully not have them injuring themselves or others so then we've got our second divider we can easily get pads installed in on these if you wanted pads for your horses um, they help with the comfort for the horse and then also color dis discoloration for the horses. One thing I want to point out is Cimarron's latches for their dividers. So they're super simple to use and this is a big one for me because I've got younger horses that are still learning how to ride in a trailer and be comfortable in one. So being able to just get that horse up in the corner, push over its hip and get that latched with just me pushing on it like that. This comes in handy, it's easy, uh, it's safer in my opinion, if instead of having to try and get a pin in and stuff, you're able to just hit it with your hip and get it over to the side. Up above we've got three roof vents on each stall, so those roof vents push forward and they push back. So you push them forward, they're going to help draw that air in, push them back, they'll help draw that air back out and just get that total air flow going through the trailer for the horses. So I'm going to close this door real quick and show you. So this is our 40 door. So you can kind of see how big it is and how it only takes a, you know, 40% of the rear of this trailer and how much bigger this space on the side is. So you're able to get horses in and out of there easy with just having the one door open. And then main reason I closed that up, I wanted to show you where the light switches are. So these are your light controls for the exterior and then the interior stall area. The tack room has its own individual light switch in there. So coming over here to the head side of the trailer, we've got drop downs on all three stalls and then our escape door on the front. So this escape door, like I was saying earlier, you're able to get this escape door open. If you wanted to use this as a storage area, you could do so easily by having this escape door open and access from the outside while still having horses loaded on the trailer. And then if you've got a horse that likes to, you know, you got to shut them in and jump out of here real quick, you do have a chest bar that comes across. Oh, that must be in the front tack room. But a chest bar that comes across and you're able to keep that horse from jumping out on you. So these drop downs, they've got the jail bars that come down as well. So you're able to pull this up, pull these jail bars down. And that comes in handy big time if you're trying to offer food or water while you're in transit, you got horses on board, you're able to just get those down instead of having to take them off the trailer. And then you can also step up here, you know, and just check on your horses, make sure everyone's doing okay, no one's bleeding or anything like that. So then you're able to get your jail bars back up with ease. They pop into place so they're not going to be sitting there slapping against your trailer while you're going down the road. And then they've got the bus window in them too. So if you're starting on a morning like this morning and you only want just a little bit of airflow to get some ventilation for those horses, you're able to get that bus window just cracked for them and be able to help them out there. So another LED light up above and then you have three additional ties on this side. So this trailer we're sitting at seven feet, one inches tall. We're sitting at six feet, nine inches wide. And then we've got an on the floor length of 18 feet, nine inches. Empty weight on it is going to be 3,905 pounds. So, you know, depending on your tow vehicle, you always want to double check your tow rating, make sure that you're able to haul something. The majority of um, the bigger half tons and three quarter tons are going to be able to haul this with no problem. So, stock number we've got on this unit is going to be 5N221029, and that's 5N221029. 
It's a 2023 Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pull. Cimarrons will come with an eight year structural warranty, three year hitch to bumper. So fantastic warranties on them as well. So if you have questions on this trailer, any other trailers you see on our lot, on our website, or you're looking to build a trailer, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can call or text me at my cell phone and that's at 970-218-5996. You can call me at my desk phone at 303-684-3451 or shoot me an email to Morgan and that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot Noll, K-N-O-L-L at transwest.com. If you click the link below, it'll take you to our webpage um, where this trailer is going to be featured on there. And then you can also browse our new and used inventory there. So please don't hesitate to reach out. Look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business. And I hope you have a great day.